Hello. Good morning. Okay, so I had one talk already where I was talking about AA and religion and all this. And, you know, I have this person in my life who, anytime we talk about theology or her um, religion or anything where I badmouth it, where, you know, because I'm not going to sugarcoat it. I don't go to meetings for that. I, if I wanted to go and listen to somebody talk about God, I would go to church or, you know, something. I, you know, I don't want it in my recovery program. And, you know, snivy little comments about how, you know, because sni just snivy little comments about how it's, you know, she's just speaking from her heart. and But she's not understanding that when she makes comments about speaking from her heart, that she's also placing me, you know, somewhere, you know, that where I need to be fixed or whatever. And she's, she tries to think that she's not doing stuff. I mean, she's pretty, she's actually one of the nicer God related people when it comes to, uh, people who don't understand, you know, don't understand athe atheism, atheism. Um, and you know, that's, that's her right. You know, she has, I am, I'm super glad that she found a way to stay sober. And her way is just different than mine, but we, the end goal is the same. We're both sober people, you know, we overcame our demons just, you know, differently. And there's nothing wrong with that. I'm, I'm cool with, you know, it just, when I'm in rec my recovery groups, I don't want to be bashed in the head with, um, I, I would love to quote some of the stuff, but I'm I'm a very new newcomer to an, a 12-step program, so I couldn't even tell you what step one was. Like, we were reading step 11. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, this, I'll need three more, because I have 10 and 10, so I'm going to have 20 beads. Uh, but anyway, in my group, in the group last week, we were only... We were reading out step 11, and there was so much God in there. You know, I, I don't understand. I don't know if people understand that there is a difference between agnostic and atheist. Um, I, I, I don't know if some people just don't know that, you know, if I say that I'm atheist, that doesn't mean I want to hear all about God, you know, because I'm already past the point where I don't need to believe in a God to, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't know. I just, that's just my, you know, I, I was really hope because I was told that AA is very, they'll shut you down if you talk about God in, in your, uh, at, at recovery and it's like no they didn't they you know I, and I had a quote in the reading that I was reading and the way it was worded was like something that you would see in a bible it, using thy and thou thuses and stuff like that I don't remember what the quote was but it did not make sense to me and some guy interrupted my reading to tell me it made sense and I said to an atheist, it doesn't make sense, you know. And, of course, then he had to ignore that I said I was an atheist and still talk about how it says it in the Bible, you know, that you have, you know, there's certain things that you, you know, I don't know. It just happened to be my, uh, my experience at my group. I gotta get all this stuff off my hands now. <laughs> That's why I was like, I can only do so much. I'm done with doing this for a little while. I might work on some of these in a little bit, but I'm going to probably end this one here. So, all right, you have a great rest of your day. Bye.